What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Alienware M18 with a 7900M gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're gonna check out some body cam. Now, this game, unfortunately, is a little too team based for me. So, I let my social anxiety get the better of me. I wanted to just join a game and test it out, but then I started noticing you had to have your mics on and all this shit. Nope, not happy. I actually went and disabled my mics. The game in itself literally turns it on and won't let you turn it off. I found out that the mini PC has a mic that's always on. That's a little concerning. And I only know that because when this game launched, it did that weird shit. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever tried this when you were little, but if you tried like a phone and another phone, like you call your friend and then you try to have them talk to themselves, it kind of starts going like echo, 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 and then it starts going fucking ape shit, wacko, mondo nuts. Well, that's what it started doing. I was like, huh? I don't have a mic hooked up to this mini PC. What the fuck? So then I went and looked like, yeah, it does have a mic. That's a little weird. It's a little Chinese thing. I wonder if the Chinese are just listening in to everything. Well, it's disabled now. So all they're gonna, all they would have heard is a dude watching King of the Hill and smoking pot. So. Uh, not a whole lot for them to really gain out of that situation. <laughs> but in reality, it's probably nothing like that. It just seems a little weird. I've never had something like that that just has a mic built into the little tower itself, you know? But anyway, so back to the anywhere though. So we're, I'm just gonna make a game and see how it runs. We'll do 1080p in this video and then we'll hop on up to 1440p in the next video. Now, hopefully I can get my friends to get this game, and if I can get them to all join a team with me, I think I could just power through it, because then I know my friends are gonna know I'm making a video, and being like, oh, okay, yeah, he's not gonna be like perfect, we're not gonna yell at him, but you know, play with randos, and they're gonna be like, why is Vicious like just standing there? Why is Vicious just like not aiming properly? Why is Vicious suck, you know, that shit? And then that gets my social anxiety going crazy, and I just don't like that, so. That is why we're doing it the way we're doing it, just in case anyone's interested. And then, of course, more problems with this game. I couldn't use Afterburner, so we just get a little tiny little window or a little tiny fret FPS uh, thing up in the corner, thankfully, from Steam. I thought even that wasn't going to work, and it was going to turn into a Battlefield 2142 situation where you just have to look at it and be like, well, does it look playable enough to me? I don't really know what it's getting FPS-wise, but does it look good? <laughs> you know? And also, OBS, just black screen and sound, so... We're not gonna do that. I want my videos to be professional and have some screen recorded and camera recorded, but I don't think anybody wants to listen to me and a game and a black screen for five minutes. So we're just gonna go with camera recorded gameplay, at least until the desktops. I'm hoping they will actually cooperate with the recording. But now that we got all of that out of the way, there's a really long intro, sorry about that. I try to keep them short, but I can't always do it. So now let's get into the game. All right, so here's the settings we're gonna go with. Full screen, 1080p, unlock. Here's the other settings we're going with. All right, and that's that. So now we can go ahead and hop into the game. All right, here we are in game. It says we're getting like over 100 FPS. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely feels a little weird, but it doesn't feel like stuttery or anything. Get in there, you. Yeah, so far totally playable. With high settings, heck, you could probably get away with running Epic. But I still have upscaling on it by default. On something like this, though, you could probably turn that off and still get close to 60, but most people that play these games want FPS, so they don't really care about running upscaling and whatnot. So we're just going to leave it on. It's on by default. Most people are going to leave things on by default. Not everybody is like me who likes to tinker with the settings anyway. So heck, on this system, there's really no point in putting everything down to low, but we're gonna do that anyway, because some people only care about FPS, but 
So far, from what I've noticed, I mean, it might change on this PC, but on almost every other thing I've tried it on, the settings don't really mess with the FPS much. So it almost makes me sit here and go, okay, well, you might as well just run it at high or epic settings. The only reason I didn't go epic is I'm just so used to most games running 20 FPS lower on epic than they do on high, yet looking almost, you know, non-existently better. Unless you pull out a zoom and a micro a micro uh, microphone magnifying glass, you can pull out a microphone, but that's not going to help you see very good. Yeah, you really have to use the uh, the sights on the gun and everything. That's kind of cool. I was able to kill one guy who joined my game. He had his back turned, so it was kind of a hollow victory. But still, I got a kill in the game. I didn't think I was going to kill anyone. But yeah, definitely got that cooling pad set up properly now. We're getting some really good times. Look at that GPU. Barely touching 60. And then the memory is at like 80. And then the CPU is chilling from 80 to 85, 86, depending on what we're doing and where we are. But they definitely did a great job on the graphics of this game. This definitely looks real close to real life. I call it close to photorealistic. Not 100%, but still pretty close. But anyway. Just for fun, let's try turning everything down to low and see if this it makes a difference on this PC. It did not anything else, but hey, maybe it'll surprise us here. All right. Here's the settings we're gonna run. 1080p, just like before, no locks of any kind. And now we left all this stuff alone, but we turned everything besides view distance down to low. Well, besides foliage, but we can't do that. It's either epic, or high, so we'll just leave it on the lower settings, and we got all that nonsense off. So now, let's get back into the game. All right, now we got the game on low. We're getting like 144 to 150 FPS now, so it might have made a little more difference here, but we'll have to run around a little more to see. Might be exactly the same as it was, but I feel like it made more of a difference here than it did on anything else. And it still looks really good, even with everything on low, to be honest. Like, this game with everything on low looks better than a lot of games do maxed out. Which is pretty funny. Oh cool, I actually have like a red dot, that'll help. Not like I'm actually gonna fight anybody, although someone might join before I get to the three minute mark. Cause I'm just keeping this short, I don't wanna sit here and just run around in circles for too long for you guys. I figured a 10 minute video of this or a 12 minute video of this would be way too long and boring. It's already probably pretty boring as it is, but I just couldn't beat my social anxiety today. I wanted to go and join game like normal, but once I learned how team focused it was, I just couldn't do it. I don't really want to be on open mics, especially while I'm making you guys a video and talking to you. Everybody be like, what the fuck, bitch, just shut the fuck up. And rightfully so, nobody wants to hear that. So. I figured this was the correct thing to do. Or if I turn the mics off, like I have now, they'd probably be like, why doesn't Vicious have his comms on? I played one other game for somebody. It was like a World War II game where I just went off and ran around and everybody in the whole game was raging. I got called so many names, although that was kind of funny. But it's different when people are actually shouting you with, it, with your own voice. I don't really let text get the better of me, but somebody shouting in your face a bunch of insimities. I don't know. I don't sit there and cry about it, but it's definitely like, eh, that doesn't, that's not fun. I don't really want to subject myself to this. But like I said in some other videos, maybe I can get my friends to get this game. And if I've got all them on my team, and even if there's one rando, they'll just tell him to shut the fuck up. He's making a video or something. And then they won't get all mad at me when I die. Cause again, I'm making a video, like kneeling on the floor in a weird contorted way. I'm surprised I ever get any kills. Sometimes I still kill people like this. So I always just tell myself, hey, at least you're slightly better than them. You might not be the best, but you're not the worst. And it's true. There's still people worse than me. I might not be very good, but that is still a fact.
I wonder if there is a vault. I bet you there is a vault button and I just don't know what the hell it is. Because I mean, I know this game's trying to be really realistic, but in reality, people can vault over small things. They're not gonna do what they do in a lot of the video games, but they'll vault over small things. But in any case, I think that's plenty of gameplay. It might have made a little bit of a difference, but it doesn't seem to be a night and day difference. So I just play it maxed out, to be honest. Or not maxed out, but with, on high. But hey, maybe I even could handle everything on Epic. Maybe none of the settings really make a big difference. Anyway, why don't we go wrap this video on up? Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for body cam, at least at 1080p. And it was much more playable on this system than on the Asus G15 Advantage. We were mostly in the 100s. And I think even the 99 percentile was staying right around like 58 to 59. So it was a pretty pleasant experience. It didn't seem to stutter or do anything crazy. We were getting good temps. It's just a game that's gonna take some getting used to. I'm really hopeful I can get my friends to plot by this game. I think this would be a fun game to play together. It's totally a little different than most games you play. Now, I already know I'd get my socks rocked against real people in this game, but still, I think it would be fun, especially with them backing me up so I don't feel so self-conscious and push a and let my social anxiety get the better of me. But for now, we're just gonna have to deal with me joining a game and running around a little bit. Although I know a lot of people are gonna say that's not a great way to test it and they're 100% right. You're gonna get a lot less FPS with a full game, but I think that guy's getting so much FPS, even with a full game of people, I don't think you're gonna drop like under 60. At least not 1080p. 1440 might be a different story, but we'll jump to that bridge when we get to it which is next actually, so why the hell not, right? So that's all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoy making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out guys.